Okay, my drawing skills are not very good. <laughs> but you get the idea. So this came down and that came up. Good morning internet, it is 8 o'clock in the morning and welcome back to the channel. 8 o'clock is a great time to start <laughs> mowing the lawn. Anyway, I am here in Ais in Namibia and today I'm going to ride to the super awesome, I think it's going to be super awesome, Fish River Canyon, which is the second largest canyon in the world after the Grand Canyon in the United States. Um, and it's not so far from here, so I decided to make it a day trip so I can ride quite nice and light I don't have to bring all my stuff with me and then I'll just return here in the evening I'll show you on the map where it is It's a little bit uh, of a mess around here, but anyway, so this is the border with Namibia I crossed over here and today I will be riding in this area where the canyon is Let's go then! It's about a 200k round trip. Or maybe I'll just fuel up just in case. They have a fuel station here. I should be able to make it, but it's always better to have as much fuel as you can here. Hi! Good morning! Good, are you? Thank you. And this one is showing direction. Yes. Where I need to go. Uh, where, where now are you going? Now, now we're at Ai Ais. Okay. And I go uh, I follow the purple line. And then I stop there and there and there. And then come back. Yeah, that's going to be I come back tonight here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> See you later. Right. Two liters. It's not a lot, but for this little tank. <laughs> <laughs> this place actually reopened uh, a couple of weeks ago. They were closed for several months because there was a flash flood here. So that actually does show the danger of kind of living in a canyon. That they, there was a sudden, a lot of rainfall and everything you see around here was just flooded. So they had to rebuild almost the entire lodge. crazy right because now I am actually at the end of the Fish River Canyon already so this river here is the Fish River which eventually drains into the Orange River and this is kind of the end of the canyon so I'm now going to ride around and see the canyon kind of from the top
This track hasn't been used in a little while, I have the feeling. It's hard to even see the trail still. I think it's here. I'm not even sure. <laughs> How do I pick these roads? I wonder. <laughs> We'll get there. Oh. Oof. <laughs> Can I even get up there? Oh, it's good to go. Let's do some hard enduro while we're here. There we go. There is the canyon. Getting closer now. Oop. This is very rough. Oh, and I have to get back up here as well. Oh, oh that's going to be very tricky because it's all loose. Well, worries for later then. Oof. Look at this. I don't know what happened here. But it's pretty hectic. Oof, oof, oof. How do I get down here? Try to take this route. Oof. Wee wee wee. Slipping on the side. Woo. Hectic. Crazy. Well, I can only guess that. Well, either this road is always like this, or it's, or it's the result of that. I guess that rainfall that caused the flash flood in the canyon. There must have been quite a lot of rainfall suddenly. That kind of washed washed out the road because it's hectic
Wow. Look at this. I reached the end of the road. Let's have a look here. It's a little bit windy, so I hope the wind noise is not too bad. Look at this. So you can see the Fish River making a turn there, going around, and then it goes around there. So this river, the Fish River, is 800 kilometers long. So it's the longest river in Namibia. And the canyon, the Fish River Canyon, starts at the lower part of the river. And the canyon is about 160 kilometers long, 27 kilometers wide, and in some parts it's up to 550 meters deep. And well, I thought it would be nice to kind of explain to you how this canyon formed. Talk a little bit geology. Um, but for that I actually, I should actually make you a drawing and to explain it, see if I can find a paper, I don't know if there's any paper on me. Okay, I found a paper, it's actually my Covid test, <laughs> but I won't need it anymore, so I can use the back side of the paper to make you a drawing. So the rock that you see here is very old and it's all metamorphosed granite, which turned it into a rock type called Gneiss. And what happened is, so along two fault lines, this happens. Okay, my drawing skills are not very good, <laughs> but you get the idea. So this came down and that came up along these two fault lines. And so the edges here, this point and this point, that is the edges of the canyon. So this is now about 27 kilometers apart. So this movement alongside these fault lines, that created the beginning of the canyon. But at that time, the canyon was still 300 meters less deep than it is now. So later in time, when the Gondwana supercontinent started to break up, Remember that I talked about this in a video in South Africa when I was standing at the third largest canyon in the world. When that happened, the uplift of the African continent uh, resulted in that the Fish River had a steeper gradient. So that meant it was faster flowing and that allowed it to cut even deeper into the canyon. And that's why this canyon at this moment is about 550 meters deep. And now we just have this amazing, amazing scenery to enjoy. But I also need to start moving again because it took me a really long time to get here. Uh, this road is really, really rough. Not sure uh, what happened. Must have been rainfall. Um, and there's these two sections that were really difficult to get down that I now, in my mind, I'm already thinking, oh dear, I have to get back up with those in lights. <laughs> so I better get going. There's another viewpoint up that way, um, but that's where the crowds go, I believe. So that's why I came here to have the whole place to myself, which is absolutely fantastic. Let's go. I'm actually starting to get hungry. It's a quarter to 12 now. So I'm gonna find a place to eat something. But first uh, 20 k's back down this road. There's that hard section coming up. Oh, it's so loose. Oh, should have kept my momentum. Why did I stop? Why did I stop? Come on.
<laughs> Almost had it. Third try. Come on, come on. Woo. It's just I picked the wrong line and then stopped. Then it's really hard <laughs> to get going again. You need to pick a line and go for it, but. Sometimes it's easier said than done. Now comes this other part, which is also not very easy. Okay, that was fine. That was fine. Here it is, Canyon Roadhouse. Wow, this is huge. All right, I have some toasties. And this is actually a pretty cool place. Look, it's just full of like um, cars here and there and there. And then we got some of this. Pretty cool place. Um, it's absolutely deserted. There's nobody here, but that's totally fine. I'm just gonna enjoy my lunch. I feel so much better, <laughs> full on energy. So now I'm just uh, riding back to uh, Ayais, where I'm staying. I think it's 80 kilometers or something from here, so it should be easily doable. back at Ayais. So that was it for today and uh, the next video I'm going to leave this place and move towards can't think of the name now but anyway I'll be moving on <laughs> in the next video. So that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. Um, if you did please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and then I'll see you in the next video.